Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Always Compete Seahawks podcast. I am Sam. That is Mike from a secret remote location. Uh, he's on he's witness, on his, witness protection program. He's yeah. on his wit pro. He now goes by uh, Daniel Stevenson. So uh, that's a random name. <laughs> yeah, but hey, this is the most generic Walmart name I can think of. But but listen, yep. Today's a big big day in Seahawks fandom. The one of the one of the best players and most important players to the Seahawks future got an extension today, and it's something that we've all been anticipating for a very long time. Yep. It's a player who, ever since we acquired him, we knew that he'd get a long-term extension. It was only a matter of time. We're, of right. course, talking about all-pro punter Michael Dixon. Michael oh. Dixon got a four-year deal today worth around $14.5 million base with, I believe, up to 16 in incentives. Um, like $10 million comes in the first two years, and then it's like cheap years through the last two. So he's now under contract for five more years, the best punter in the NFL. Yes, Johnny Hecker. Get out of off. here. Nobody yeah. likes you. But M. Cook. Uh, Aussies, Aussies rule. And we're here. And we have the and we have a punter, very young stock. If he's still like 24, 25, he's young. Yeah. yeah. And a clear game changer, especially last year. You guys might remember some of the insane kicks. Like I think it's New England. He went special teams player of the week. So he, he's yeah. just built like that. Like he averages he's, sixty yards a punt. He, he goes he goes dicko mode every single play. Yeah, every guys, single time. You got Seahawks fans may know him as dicko mode. I forgot to say that, but Seahawks fans may know him as dicko mode. Mike, give your thoughts on this amazing, amazing um, move. Absolutely love this move. I think it's securing that punter long term. Seahawks have the most underrated special teams in the league, especially last season. Jason Myers and Michael Dixon war studs so just extending michael dixon for as long as we can is awesome move uh admission here i did not know that we re-signed him up until about 30 minutes ago when sam broke the news to me (laughs) yeah i I joined the zoom call and i'm like hey mike yo we could talk about michael dixon getting an extension he's like what What? What talking about dude (laughs) and i was like what and he told me about it and i instantly peed my pants with enjoyment was so happy i didn't Um, i didn't see I didn't see that part, but right. he, this now is he's why, breaking that to me now. Right. That's his breaking right. news to me. This is why the second. camera is, you know, from my chest up, obviously. I was going to do, do a standing far away <laughs> shot. He's, he's like this. He, had to, he, had to, he had to call it audible. But, <laughs> yeah. Move, yeah. Move the camera real. I had, to, I had to do one of these actions right here. <laughs> yeah, just slide it up like, yeah. on the <laughs> forehead. <just> like. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but... I'm actually just like foaming at the mouth. I'm like, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But Michael Dixon, one of the best punters, and honestly, he makes it so much easier on our defense. And to know mm-hmm. that, like when, like when we have a guy like Michael Dixon, when your offense struggles and can't put up a lot of points, like everyone's while there's a game where they'll put up like 15 points. I'm sure all the Seahawks last half of the that. season, for example. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the whole last season, Michael right. Dixon is outstanding i think he had the most punts pinned back at the tw- inside the 20 last year like that's kind of crazy that ma- like it's crazy how he can kick it like 70 yards but then at the same time like when he needs to kick it like 30 yards he can hit it with pinpoint accuracy i swear this dude has like a quarterback's arm for his leg like yeah it's, it's crazy yeah it's but, like pump pass and kick tournament he just punts for every every time yeah it's you like, ever been yeah <laughs> just, so he is insane obviously yeah. having a great punter is good also for your defense uh it helps them with the field position battle um pins him I back think, didn't he attribute to no never mind i thought no never mind never mind i thought i thought he attributed to the safety against dallas but that was on a kickoff do you so. remember when we took him like and in the fourth and everybody, round and everybody no, was like fifth round, oh. fifth round. it was like oh they wasted a spot See, we, have, we have John Ryan, and then it turns out John frauds. Ryan needs to and, leave. But yeah, and yeah, then Michael Dixon just turns into like the best punter. He, he made he he was an All Pro that year, for example. He he yeah. made the All Pro team. There's so, just something different about him. Like he is such a cool dude, and like the way he he just kicks different. There's no other way to describe it. Really. He just kicks different. I think yeah, him. He has, he has a special style, and it was funny. Like as soon as he got drafted, everybody's like, "Oh yeah, he he's played rugby before." You know he he's booted these because he's from Sydney. He's born in Sydney, yeah. so like so like they're like, oh yeah, he's he's kicked. He's he's probably rugby and soccer and all that. And he's like, guys, I've never played rugby in my life. And he just comes out and says on Twitter. And then, but hey, it doesn't you remember? 
Do you remember the play against the Lions, though, where he just faked the punt, like, just because? He's no, like, all right. No, no, he wasn't going to fake it. That was one of those plays where you snap it and you run around for as long as you can in the end zone. Like, the punter runs around for as long as oh, you can. Oh, yeah, it was an intentional out. safety. And then he's like, oh, there's a lane. And he takes it and he gets, like, 13 yards. Of How – imagine being the Lions in that instance, though. Oh, my God. Bro, Lions fans are used to that. Being a Lions fan, it's like, we're going to come back. And then Michael Dixon just puts the dagger through their hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, he's got that British heritage. I'm sure he's. I'm sure he's good with a sword. I'm so, yep. You know, do not mess with Michael Dixon. Mm-mm. But Michael Dixon is like the James Johnson of the NFL. If you get if you get that reference, let me know because if you guys know the NBA, James Johnson, if you mess with his teammates, he will rip your head off. Like, it's not even – like, he's the Ron Artest. That's a more mainstream reference. He's I think, the Ron Artest of the NFL. I think my last note will be, in terms of scariest men in the NFC West, obviously you got you know, Aaron Donald, whatever. I think Michael Dixon. Probably I, think, top of that list. I think Michael Dixon is a couple tiers above Aaron Donald. And right. then I honestly think that it goes Tyler Lockett. Right, absolutely. There's something just so menacing about that poetry that he writes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like – it's It just screams it's, like, don't – Then Travis you. Homer. Travis Homer's – <laughs> it gives every, every scary Seahawks, to look at. Every He's scary Seahawks to look fan, at, bro. <laughs> gives every Seahawks fan a heart attack. He's <laughs> on the field. <laughs> so menacing, bro. Heart insurance spikes every time he steps on the field, bro. <laughs> every time, bro. I swear, like, 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 like the, the Seattle hospital just means just is like under, like, like under the table, just looking at <laughs> Seahawks money so that they can just get Travis over in the game. <laughs> It's like I would cut him, but we're, we're but we're getting thirteen mil a year from from the from the hospital. I write him a check. They're like, "Thank you." Oh, <laughs> uh, this is a little off topic, but I think it's deserved. Obviously, it's Michael Dixon. Yeah, Michael Dixon. Just kind of wrap it up. We don't have a lot to talk about about the signing. Obviously, it kind of speaks for itself. Especially if you watch the Seahawks, it will definitely speak for itself. But Michael Dixon, under contract long term, I believe he's now the third player that's under contract for two or more years that 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 is not a rookie right right two or more right. years i'm pretty sure he's the he's now alongside bobby wagner and russell wilson obviously the three best players so well deserved so that's interesting but uh thank you guys for listening uh if you enjoy or if you want to guarantee that you do not miss out on nearly daily seahawks content drop a subscribe and click that bell so you'll be notified as soon as we release a video. We're dropping bangers consistently. Cons- um, Banger inbound. Go, go subscribe day. to the pod. Go subscribe to the podcast. Uh, just subscribe to that, and you'll get a notification whenever a podcast drops. It's on wherever you get your podcasts. As you know, Apple, Google, Spotify, Anchor, all that goodness. Right. And right. Mike, if you have anything to say, I think we can wrap this up. Um. You know, no puns in this episode, unfortunately. I think I've been banned by Sam from using those, but uh, yeah, great I, sign. I, I threatened him with a resignation. I, I, <laughs> I, I put it I put it by resignation letter. I was fully ready to move on to the uh, Nuggets of Gold. <laughs> Sam, was, Sam was about to stop competing. It's always compete. He's like, nah, I'm done competing, bro. <laughs> I, was, I was fully ready to slip, put, put my resignation and retire on the beach. He was about to DM Matt. He had the DM ready. He was like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, right I'm, now. I'm ready. I'm, like, All right. I'm ready to join. But. All right. Uh, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for listening. Yeah. And uh, stay Peace. tuned for more.